Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back! We're inside the group and I'm doing another pop-up training. This is another symptom that so many of my high-performing, high-achieving, people-pleasing, perfectionist women share that I just want to call to your attention so that you can see what's maybe just in your blind spot or maybe something that you're misdiagnosing. What I'm talking about today is this flawed thought that somehow we need to do more, that we need to be more prepared, we need to be more on top of something, that we need to be more on top of our life, that if only we just had a whole day to get on top of all the details of our life, we would be that much further along, or we would finally feel calm or relaxed or composed in some way. The common symptom to the problem that I'm naming, I call the overflowing tote bag. Do you subscribe to that behavior where you have a big book bag or a large oversized purse or several purses full of papers and things that you're toting around out of a sense of needing to know, needing to know more, needing to prepare more, needing to keep the scrap of paper from a workshop or review that one um, article or uh, somehow stay up abreast on top of something, something you need to read. I find so many of my high achieving, high performing women have like this scarcity mindset about their knowledge, about their belief in already knowing what they need to know. And it's demonstrated in this symptom of the overflowing tote bag. Is that you? Say I if it's me. So um, what I want to say about this is if you're working really hard, if you're working long hours, if you're somebody who really cares about your work product, you care about that which you do, you, you care about the results that you produce, you, you are likely a high performer and you've been told that, but you might not even identify that way. You might actually feel like you're not on top of it all and that you need to scurry and hurry to kind of scrape up resources, to muster up being more and presenting that um, better version of yourself. That might be the flawed thought that you're telling yourself. So what I want to call out is if you're, uh, if you're a high achieving woman and you're getting praise and recognition and acknowledgement for your contributions, but you don't feel like you're on top of things, the answer is not for you to have to go and get more knowledge. I want to tell you a quick, quick story about a current client of mine who's really unhappy with the leadership where she's working and she's considering um, applying for other jobs. And some of those postings um, cite a certain skill, a certain certification that would be a nice to have or even a need to have for the position that's posted. And so she immediately went to thinking, I need to go take that course, but it's actually the last thing I have time for and it just makes me feel so overwhelmed. And my counsel to her was, then it's a no. Then you don't need the course. And I want to explain this because if you're like a high achieving, hard pressing, results driven woman who gets a lot done, that might sound like weird advice. Don't get the certification that you think that you need that other people are telling you you might need to get the job. But what it is, is she's, she's thinking she needs it because she's coming from the mindset that she's missing something, that she's lacking something, that if only she went and scurried and hurried to gather up a new certification or a new piece of learning, she would then be more complete or presentable or finished. And that's a lie. You can absolutely go and get the new certification if you're coming from the place of like, I want, I'm thrilled, I'm excited, I'm curious, I'm expansive, I'm always growing and a lifelong learner. That's a totally different mindset than the one that feels full of drudgery like I have to. Like, I need to do this to be able to qualify for a job. It's this brain technique that we are served up. She's not unique. She's not the only one. We all suffer from thinking that 
If we gather and hoard more resource, in this case, knowledge, information, we'll be safe, we'll be secure, we'll be better than, better than we are now. And it's this distortion that we think we need to go outside of ourselves to get something to make ourselves more for the, for, for the world. But it's really a revelation. It reveals an internal feeling of scarcity that we're not enough. And that's the real problem. That's the real problem with the symptom of tote bag overflowing, tote bag tyranny, the, the lacking of knowledge the desire to go in and keep taking certifications and courses, to try to get on top of things, to clear out our inbox, to catch up on all our podcasts, to deal with all our piles. It's this brain distortion that thinks if we sort out our external signs of lack, if only we can get on top, clear the inbox, get everything done, get another certification, then then we'll be good, we'll be good enough. Are you following me? Say yes, following, if you are following. So the real solution, it doesn't even matter if we're talking about getting that certification or not for that client that I'm discussing. It's not about that at all. It's about understanding at the deepest level that we already are enough right now. The real problem is in not believing that we're already enough and that somehow we need to fix ourselves, cure ourselves, improve ourselves, get back above the water line because we feel like we're drowning. So you might be thinking, okay, sounds good, but how? I don't even know how I would do that. So your brain for a long time has been trained to go down the, the action strategy of doing more getting more done, putting more on your list, hurrying and scurrying, trying to multitask, thinking that that's going to bring you the result. And you need to first realize that has never brought you the result of calm, self-assuredness, ease and comfort in your own skin. So you need to first see that your brain has been serving you up a lie to keep you busy because when we're busy, we feel productive, we feel like we're moving forward, and we don't have to deal with the pain of feeling like we're not enough. Are you following me? It's a sneaky tactic to buffer ourselves away from the painful feelings of actually not having a lot of self-belief or enough self-belief or resonant self-belief of having a beautifully full flowering self-concept if we stay busy, if we have head down, furrowing, scurrowing, doing all the things, taking action, multitasking, it's a way of us sort of pushing away the feelings of not enoughness because we're too busy. All right. So if this is resonating for you, you know what I'm giving you. The first lesson is to notice the flawed thought. And the second lesson is to actually start working on better self-belief. It's not going outside of yourself to convince yourself that you're good enough. It's going inside to see that you are already accomplished. You are already everything that you need. So what I do with my women in my leadership course is we start with the inside first. We start with dealing with that negative self-talk, that inner critic. We start with blowing up imposter syndrome. We start with seeing objectively our skills, our strengths, our amazingly strong characteristics that serve us and not discount them and not um, defraud them, not say to ourselves, oh, well, that's not that big a deal. Everybody is like that. No, we need to see our strengths objectively for what they are as we build better self-belief and make choices from that place. Not from dog paddling, uh, almost going under, trying to scurry and hurry to keep ourselves afloat. All right. If this is resonant for you, then I encourage you to book a call with me. My four-month Completely Confident Leadership Program is exactly what solves this type of symptom, this type of stress, forever. It helps women sleep through the night. It helps women have better self-talk. It helps women feel like they are large and in charge, that they are in command of their own life, to feel comfortable and confident in their skin, to be capable of interacting with others in ways that is empowered, 
To be able to speak publicly without shirking and cringing and feeling awful inside. To have that beautiful resonant self-belief that allows you to be the leader that you long to be, the one that feels good in her own life. I am posting a link in the comments below for how easy it is to find time on my calendar. It is amazing, actually, even to have a conversation with you to know deeper what it is that's underpinning the things that are holding you back. That's what a call can do where we understand better where you are, what's holding you back, where you want to be, and what the bridge is to get there. I invite you, if this is resonating for you, if this feels like, oh my God, that's me, to actually take steps towards improving that, that dynamic that is really dragging you down because on the other side is freedom and ease and more fun, more fun at work, more pleasure and more expansion and more creativity, better money, a better job, a promotion, all of the good things when we first deal with what we're doing that's actually holding us back. That's what I've got you for today. Go well.